Hi guys, what you see here is a TP-Link TLWN851ND and this is a PCI Wi-Fi adapter for both B and G and N Wi-Fi networks and it's uh, a cheap one 15 euros or something like that but if you need to make your desktop computer mobile it is very handy so let's open up the box and look inside let's see where there is an opening somewhere ah there is an opening right here and let's just take a peek inside and install it in a desktop computer I have for it so And according to the box, you'll be able to do 300 megabits per second. Of course, dependent on your access point and such things. But uh, let's take a look inside. And there's a box in a box. So let's close this one. Put it here. And open up this one. So you get a tiny little CD, of course with drivers I suppose, resource CD. Oh, if you've got a CD-ROM drive or DVD drive that's like huh, tilted, there are most likely some feet you can click in the tray so you can use these types of CD-ROMs. Little tip for you there. Some literature, all not that interesting and the card itself in an anti-static bag yeah, nice sticker, I like these types of stickers put them on my computer well, I did once at least but uh, you get the point and a couple of small antennas that go into these connectors here so let's uh, get this stuff out of the way and install it into the computer and what I've got here is a Dell Optiplex 320 and it's basically a toolless install in this computer now let's open up because this is a PCI slot and it has to go either here or here this is a PCI Express slot so it won't fit in that one but let's open it up and there's a latch here that opens up this part where you can remove the slot protectors Whoa, there they go and let's uh, get the card out of the packaging oh it broke and of course observe cautions for handling electrically static sensitive devices so i better get a pair of gloves you know, if you work <coughs> for a customer, ensure that everything is handled properly or they might get mad and we don't like that. So I put on these types of gloves and then handle the electrical static sensitive device. And if you take a closer look at this card, these are most likely SMA connectors, but at least coaxial. And there is a little tin here that has the chipset in it. And it states exactly the same as on the box. Well, not entirely. Just 300 Mbps and that's it. that it's PCI. Now let's take a look. I can place it right here and here. Now, with components that might get hot, you want a little bit of airflow on the bottom as well. And since this PCI slot has a bit of huh, space right here, I'm going to place it in the lower slot. So, 
we'll have to remove this slot protector and slide the PCI card in. Ensure that it's centered on where a screw normally goes and since this is a toolless install there is no screw to be installed otherwise you basically start the screw and lean the card into it when you tighten it that's how I do it at least not always as handy with a badly built case because your cards get crookedy but if it's a good built case I do it that way do it your own risk of course but it's pushed into the slot nice air gap here of course a lot of air gap here and it's time to close this little part I'll slide it over a bit I'm not going to reposition the camera because putting on antennas isn't all that interesting but you get an idea and in regards to the gloves I have very oily hands and you don't want to get oil on electrical components it eats it away and especially when they get hot it keeps the heat so it retains the heat but uh, these are just a screw on type you know the rubbery type and uh, two antennas let's see those are tightened and they do turn a bit but we've got antennas we've got a an extra spare slot protector a nice electrically electrostatic sensitive device why do I always miss speak that but hey this computer now is of course Wi-Fi enabled when I install the drivers and such now this computer will have Linux installed on it and that's not all that interesting to watch for you but it this card should be supported always check if you use Linux huh? that the card is supported and here you get a better view of it with the antennas and uh, let's close it up and it seems nicely orientated so I'm happy with this so guys that was the unboxing and install of the TP-Link TLWN 851ND huh? very simply stated now we've got a portable ish desktop that doesn't need a network connection via cables per se so hope you liked the video subscribe like and um, well see you in the next video bye bye